All right, so we're gonna try to finish. We're gonna build up this watchtower. And I'm gonna put a little mini base there too. Nice to have a little extra place to put stuff. Hide away and to sleep and stuff and respawn. Okay, chop, chop, chop. Well, taking down the Christmas tree is a lot of work. A lot of work putting it up and a lot of work putting it away. So it's going to be a when I feel like it kind of a thing. All right, pick up. Pick up, pick up, pick up, pick up, pick up. If I just leave it up and then eventually it'll be Christmas again, I'll have to put it all back up again, right? It's just called economics of time. Yeah, it's a winter tree now. It's just the, you know, the old winter tree. Is that a bombardier beat? Oh god, it is. All right, sorry, bombardier beetle, but you can't be bombing my place, so you gotta go. Thank you. Only one person's allowed to bomb my base, and that's me, on accident, when I'm hitting stuff with my shovel. Well, that bothers me, so let's um, add some more corves. Probably half walls would be fine here. Aw, Tifa, hi. Tifa, <laughs> do you need loves? All right. Sometimes she just needs pets. You cook here. Let's keep building her up. So we want window. Let's do uh, half walls here to make that look sealed and fully across. Don't need it on that side. Okay, then we have to That should be fine, right? Let's see. Yes it is. Okay. Uh do we have slanted roof pieces? Should. Well, that's going to be great, and so should this one. Make that flat across.
Do we have cooled roofs? I guess curved floors will have to do for now. Looks like the answer to that question is no, we do not. Slender roof looks a bit tight. <laughs> um Yes, happy new year to everybody in chat. That does seem a bit a bit tight there. Maybe it will just have to be. We can put a window here to make it look less awful. And then a couple of these. And that needs a little ramp because otherwise it won't look pretty. So let's do a little half stairs here. I right, need more stems. Nice and clean. Starting to get a little dark out here. <laughs> Which is fine, hey? That it, that's fine. He needs the safety and comfort of the light when you could have terror. Okay, we need a working light so I can see, That's so I can work through the night. Mm, chop, chop, chop. Chop, <laughs> chop. Hello, Jay Smith. Good afternoon. <laughs> Boom, 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 boom. Uh, looks like over here. Let's chop some more stems. I should add a rare encounter where an old man in a wheelchair rolls up and is like, Get out of my lawn! Pesky kids! Always shrinking down and building stuff in my backyard! Get out! but it does clear. Hmm. No way to build it tighter. This has got to be that way. Well, um, let's keep building these curved windowed walls will be on every corner. I like that. Let me see. You have to figure out what I'm gonna do for 
some other places though. A lot of space in between these uh, things. Hmm. Well, let's. have massive gaps of uh massive gaps of space we have to figure out how to fill in Space here. We could make it. Uh -huh. We do have lots and lots of space between each of these stair pieces. And now seeing the curved roofs is funny. Am I skipping the curved roof? I see peak dome. Almost it. Flat roof, corner roof. Floor, 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 floor. Need more. Should be a four part clover roof. I've not seen it. Maybe I haven't unlocked it. I haven't locked up a lot of the recipes yet, so it might be a locked one. What is all that crawling in my base? Really gonna sleep right there and right in front of my salad. Um. Okay. Spiders come out at night. True. I don't fear the spiders anymore. They fear me. I have become stronger than them. Could make little rooms here if I want. Hmm. 
And storage could put tons of storage in this tower. A massive amount of storage. All right, let's do some more stem walls, though. Oops, that's not the right building. I didn't mean to do Palisade. That's the wrong wall. Those don't line up. And that bothers me. Bothers me a lot. Hmm. Fine. There's a bee out there just sleeping, making all kinds of noise outside of my house at midnight. Apparently a bad neighborhood over here. You know, I think the palisade actually does light up. Unlike the other piece. It does not. It leaves a big ass gap, so nope. Never mind. It does not. In fact, that is a massive gap. Ooh, that really bothers me. Hmm. That I built a nice little. Yeah, it just it just doesn't connect. Yeah, that's that dry. There's big ass gaps in my tower. Yeah, they didn't they didn't make design it around probably putting a curve next to a straight one. Hmm. Well, now I'm furious. Furious! Enraged! Livid. <laughs> Outraged! All my designs are just blocks. Well, I want to try something different. Everyone makes blocks everything. I used to have something be cool. Of, like a cool of sword.
Yeah, even the curved walls don't really touch perfectly. There's like a gap. Hmm. But we'll have to solve the mystery of the gap. Can I put... It was like a structural beam. Can we, um... Gonna have to figure out how to manage that. Interesting. Well, let's see. I know, we can't, well, luckily ants in this are the size of trucks, so. It won't be, it won't be too bad. They can't fit those little gaps. Is there some clever way to cover the gap? Something that we could put on all the walls to fill in the little space there. Curved door. Hmm. Probably not. Looks like, nope. Unfortunately, there's no way to block it. What, Tifa? How does the, um, the, the other walls fill in the gap? Nope, it's just like a gap there. Hmm. Hi, what are you doing? What are you doing? Also, gap there. I have cat aggro. What? Are you are you so needy this morning? What?
it, you know, it's hard for me to, like, play with only one arm, man. You just gonna stay there the whole stream? I'm gonna rest my elbow on this. Okay, now I have a shoulder cat, apparently. Ow! Ah! Oh, oh, she's biting my elbow. She's she's super needy and bitey. She needs all the pets and she wants to bite constantly. She gets in moods like this. Hmm. Let me try something. Now what if we try connecting it directly to... They just don't connect. No matter what we do. Hmm. Well, alright. Well, that's just the way it's going to be, unfortunately. more stems yeah luckily those gaps don't bother me at all I'm perfectly happy with them they're 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 they're, they're fine they're they're great I appreciate the gaps it adds character lots of character I'm not triggered even slightly. I will remain clueless. I will remain unaware and clueless. Yeah, red and armor could, makes me carry more stuff, but I'd have to go all the way back to my base on my super speedy zip line just to grab it to come back and save half a second of um, grabbing and stuff. I'm just like, eh, I'll deal with it. some water drink some water 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 I'm out of water uh oh oh there's some water hello Need to boil it. 
All right, we'll trap this. Why does water bounce on soil? Because remember, water droplets in this are very tiny. The surface tension is very strong at this, this size. I ignore the, the, the gaps, they don't exist. If you ignore problems, they just go away on their own with magic. Oh yeah. Some, some more walls here. Looks like that. This could be another house level. Hmm. Hmm. So much room for activities. There is a lot of space in here, if one utilizes it correctly. A ton of space in here. Let's go get more. I just gotta find some clover somewhere. Uh, here you go. Grab all the plant fiber. We can swap out our hat because we're daytime. A little less squishy now. Okay, grab all the sticks and we will finish out a tower. Our tower base. I have an idea of how to cover the gaps. It's just doing a maneuver called, I walk at the base like this and I don't see them anymore. Uh, raids happen on your base after you kill a lot of a specific type of um, creature and then they will randomly with no warning just suddenly you'll get a p big pop-up that just says blank is raiding your base and you got to defend against the uh, raid they'll send usually two to three of their their enemies at you their soldiers at you and then you have to defend
ants are easy. Some there's some much there's a lot of harder stuff though out there. Like when they send two or three um wolf spiders, that's like uh oh. Oops, mistakes were made. Like, oh god. We're gonna die now. <laughs> this is it was it was fun though. It was fun, right? It was fun. Bye! <laughs> Even more. It's about the same as like, you know, Fallout attacks where like randomly a few mobs spawn and just randomly attack your base. Like, it's nothing crazy. It's not like this isn't a base defense game, so there's not like a big focus on anything. It's like a little bonus thing that happens sometimes. First layer is not going to work. Because that first layer doesn't have this going over. Okay. I need to adjust. This needs to be adjusted. That's getting adjusted, and that means this whole everything needs to be adjusted. curve floor down here to fill in this gap down here. Now, it's too low, I think, to actually, like, utilize it. Yeah, lots of dirt everywhere, but there's a lot of space here. Undeniable amount of space. Not pretty, but I could store stuff here. Because I might need to put my thousands of items in somewhere. Do you know me, Chad? I can't just have like one of some. I have to have thousands just in case, you know, I might need it at some point. You never know. Gotta go. You gotta go. You will not spawn after I build my floor, right? You're done spawning? Let's hope. 
All right, let's go get more. Oh, that's a big paw print. Come to me, you green cinnamon rolls. <laughs> oh, they are rolls. I don't know if they're cinnamon rolls. Those would be delicious, though. more. This part of the game means we want to play The Sims, the base building. Yeah, there's lots of like ways to decorate your base and organize it and build it out. It's fun. Oh, it is a shoe print because there's the uh, the heel and then the front of it. Oh, yeah, it's a shoe print. Yeah, I was right. Hi, Mr. Ladybug. I gotta kill your friend Roly Poly later. Get his armor. What do you mean, Dandy? No, it's not. It's I, I'm not just. I'm not killing. I'm not killing one of them just to get their armor. I'm killing dozens of them to get their armor. Fill in those gaps for immersion. Thank you. That was just enough for the floor. Jeez. Apparently I need water again, so let's try to find some water. We are next to a bunch of blades of grass. All right, there's one. A water filtration Drinking. And another. All right, we need more sticks. All right, let's go find sticks. Looks like there's a bunch of them over here. This is all the weeds. Stay hydrated? True. You always need to stay hydrated. Tire base looking rad? Thank you. Gotta have a nice defensive tower. So much stuff. <laughs> beautiful, beautiful. I think we'll build another, um, we need to build a zip line that goes to the top of the picnic table as well. And we can just go zoop right up from my base up there. 
And from there, go to the sandbox. I wonder if I could keep that aphid as a pet. Alrighty then. To the top. I need more rope. Yeah, a lot more rope. Can you care upgrade carrying capacity? Yes, you, there's armors and also a mutation somewhere. I don't know how you get it, but mutation lets you increase how much you can carry. That guy there, and then we'll have a window wall here. Ooh, fancy. And then another wall there into some storage area. Nope, half one. Just wall that off. All right, well, let's go ahead and grab more stems. Uh, J. Rule, thank you for 106 month resub. Appreciate that. This tower base is turning out pretty good. Dun, 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 dun. It would be amazing if you find a way to like link your storages in your bases. I'd be like, oh, yes. Please. Tend to devour a one pound jalapeno bacon cheeseburger. You have a one pound burger? You're gonna make chat start drooling. That's a big burger. to the tower. One pound is too big. One, t one pound burger is a very big burger. It's a big one, but Americans are used to eating that much red meat. We've trained ourselves to eat ungodly amounts of food.
I get rid of that wall, then that opens up this area for more shenanigans. Okay, you need more ropes. Hope you know you, I've had to buy this because of this stream. Yes! I'm gonna get that 0% profit share. Oh yeah. Thank you. I have successfully influenced. Well, okay, that floor is done. Basic floor. And then up here, we can do another basic floor. Like, we have all this massive amount of space in this tower. It's be a shame to let it go to waste. So let's do the uh, corved one. With the windows. I need more plant fiber. So I need even more ropes. Uh, there's a three pound burger at a place going there called Fuddruckers. Yeah, they're a chain. I've been there before. They give you a massive slab of meat. And they're like, here, just put whatever you want on this. They have a buffet of toppings. You just load up your burger full of whatever the hell you want. And then when you uh then when you leave you're like, oh my god, why did we come here? Oh. Uh. There's a place called Chee Burger Chee Burger that would take your picture and put it on the wall and finish the largest burger. A lot of places do that. My uh, picture's on the wall in uh, Florida at a place where I finished a one pound burger. When I was 13 years old. I can't remember where it was in Florida. I was too young to remember, but I remember it's there. I have put so many stems into this tower. This is just an ungodly amount of stems. So many. I know so many stems. There, there. Oops. Right there. There's no more way up to that one, so we'll just seal that off, I think. Curve stairs. Okay, I need to head back and uh, get some a lot more rope, because... This is very inefficient ropage up here. This is really terrifying. We're going so fast. Woo! 
Uh, stems are normally hard to come by, but the area you're building at is just surrounded by them everywhere. Uh, the dandelions give very little, but the um, the brown sticky ones, the tier two weeds, they give tons. Probably 30 per, per, per uh, plant. I was like sitting on the bus. Just sitting on the bus, chilling. Moxley, thank you for that resub. J Rule, thank you for 106 month resub. Uh, Cursed Fish, Coder Dozer, Phelps, WS, Cliff, Gib, Agent Purple, Binth, Garrick, Mad Chance, Ventario. Thank you for the sub, guys. Yeah, a little aphid up there makes it so you can go both directions on the zip line now. It's motorized. I'll be right back in just a second. Plug the haze can. We don't take no for an answer. That's weird. A lot of your Tinder messages have some people saying no to you all the time.
Beautiful. Now we're back to our main base. Those things are much more efficient, just slow. Sleep till morning. Whoosh. Let's grab some water since we're out of it. Oops. All these pieces just fell down from earlier. That's a lot of extra ropes just chilling there. Okay, drink. Uh, we need food. Do we have anything in my inventory that can eat? Just, Just barely. It's beef jerky. All right, that works. Uh, can we repair? Repairing costs pinchers, though. This is gross. Making it cost pinchers? That's rude. I am very low on silk rope. I'm gonna have to go kill a bunch of spiders again. Is a double zip line worth the effort? No. Just wait until you um can unlock the ability to just build one zip line and then you can go both ways when you get the upgraded tool after beating the assistant manager boss. Just gotta beat him and then you're golden. Let me see here. Need to chop. Beautiful. Grab all that. that could never have enough plant fiber there's one little plant hiding right there oh there it is okay Some more fell down. Some ropes are down over that way, too. You think I can upgrade? I don't think so. I think we're capped out. Although we can make tier two now. A mighty glob. Sturdy plating. Sturdy whetstone. Riddle West though. Oh, I can make it with larva spikes and sap. We can now craft them. And then grub hide and sap for brittle plating. Hmm. We'll just straight up craft them now.
Ah, uh, the lights aren't working. I just got to reset them. All right, they should be working now, in theory. There, now they work. Perfect. Well, now's the big decision. What do we want to take each one of these into? Keep them as raw damage. Looks like the crossbow only has Mighty Glob as an option. There's no other option. Bug parts, mandible. Oh, we can make some upgraded web uh, tools too. Let's see. Black ant shovel. Finally. Mint mace. I need mint glob and tough gunk. Don't know what either of those are. Right, let's swap out our shovel finally. Now we don't need this old shovel anymore. Finally get some upgrades. The black ant sword's good too. I'll have to check that out as well. Um, Mimace had to moved up. It was just too good. Yeah, it seemed like it's really, really powerful. So I'm, I'm excited to actually use it for myself. It used to be a tier two weapon. It's always funny when something is like overstatted and super strong. Hmm. All right, well, let's see. Black Ant Sword. Clean blade with the cutting power of ants. I need uh, blueberries to go back to the hedge. Let me take a stack of this robe with me. We'll drop off our upgrade pieces here. Mighty Glob, you are wet stones condensed. But I need to craft them in an oven. Oven, oven, oven. Ever char coal chunk and then boiling. Okay, so I need more pieces. Glue masher. Okay, we'll make a. Kind of looks like a still. Oh, it makes repair glue. Stink bug parts, spider chunks. I'm guessing repair glue is just, um. Like a portable repair.
Yeah, start churning that butter. Grinder, spinning thing. Pallet, grass side table. Smithing, basketball hoop, zip line wall anchor. Koi scale chair, normal chair, Ooh, berry chair. Wall mount, lighting. Grandfather clock, dry grass partition, wreath, bunch of stuff, animals. So much to craft skill. Okay. Well, let's take, we came back to get some rope, so let's take the rope back with us. Sort, sort. Put the food up in here. Uh, put the web in the... Oh, the burb. I hear the burb. I was like, what is that explosion sound? Hi, burb. Are you, in fact, the, the word? Workers comp. All right, we'll do that. And then let's head on back. The bird's a spy. It could be from like a, a spy from the evil corporation being trained. Oh, uh, I need to get ba I need to get blueberries. Let's go get some blueberries. Cause we get a lot of stuff everywhere, actually. And we gotta go around killing spiders. I'll see some pincers for the axe. I went first. We gotta repair our thingy here. We will go back and go to the antlion and get some more pincers. And then we'll make the big act, the big uh, sword, and then from the sword we will go over there and kill things with it because it should be should hit really hard. Shoot the burb! What's wrong with you? Why would you want to shoot the burb? It's a nice burb. Do anything deserve to be shot? Let's get our uh, acorn tops before we forget as well. Make some ladders. Shoot the burb. You guys are monsters. I'm gonna drop off. Um, not the middle finger. Chat, come on. Come on, chat, please. Let's go ahead and deposit that one. Bandages. Let's grab a few more of those. Quests. Candy Conundrum, Sandcast Tower, Trowel Gulch. Trowel. Trowel is a three prong thing that you. It's like. Is, trowel's the like. You handheld little three prong thing used in the garden, right? I think that's in the, the haze. 
think so. Or is that a mini shovel? There's so many mini shovels in the yard. I don't know how to find that. Okay, let's... I think we will go for blueberries, and we gotta kill a bunch of bugs. Do I have any more? Ooh, I do have blueberries. Let's go get some more, though. Yeah. Angel the Fallen, you typing BBC in chat? What? Wrong chat box. Whoa. Lewd. Lewd. It's called a cultivator. Okay, thank you. Let's go kill some spiders. I need lots of silk and blueberries. So we'll head over to the hedge. Hey, come here! Yeah, I'm killing your baby. Come on. Come on, you big old bully. Come on. Need that need that webs the webs, thank you. Uh let's put on our block trinket again. Aphids, nature's lollipops. <laughs> Thank you, need the webs. There's so many of you. Stab, 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 stab. Stab, 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 stab. Stab, 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 stab. Gas resist, burn resist, sizzle protection. Fresh flesh defense. Ooh, safety. And annihilator. Blade master, barbarian, javelier, sharpshooter. This game looks fun, it is. <laughs> it just is. It don't look like it is, it actually just is. Ow. Alrighty then. Javanelier, what? Ooh. Uh Spears, you'll dish them in throne, you're able to counter poke enemy You're able to counter poke enemy attacks to reflect a portion of damage back. Poke enemy? What's poke enemy? Like mosquitoes, maybe? Your beetle here. Oh hi! Oh, 
Uh oh, I'm uh, Thank you. I hear mosquitoes, unfortunately. All right, milk carton. Chat was freaking out about the milk carton, so there must be something near the milk carton. I wonder if it's my turn next on the side of the squirts, squirts carton. carton. Oh no! What if my mom uses my seventh grade yearbook photo? Maybe I'm better off trapped down here. Anything inside the milk carton? Just like no. <laughs> it's called squirt milk. <laughs> There's supposed to be something near the milk carton. Chat was like, something about a secret lab near the milk carton or behind the milk carton. Maybe something needs to be blown up. Wait a minute. There's something. There's a gap right there. There's a little gap in the in the brick. How high up do bouncy pads go? You haven't seen you haven't watched my stream since last year? Oh my god, that was so long ago. Good you're finally back. Okay, I see a little gap in the wall, so let's um find a way up there. I would need quite a few of these guys. Can I get some acorn tops and come back and we can go up there. Definitely one more though. All right, let's go grab some acorn tops and then come back and then we will go in there and see what's inside there. Our weed stems right here. Just need to find acorns now. Yeah, it's like a little thing in the fence there, like a little tiny space. So it's like obsidian would probably hide stuff in there because obsidian sneaky like that. They're like, hmm, don't discover this gap here. I love secrets. Exploring is fun. True. Exploring is very fun. Mr. Spider. Take it over. Weak to spicy. You're weak to stab damage, so let's try the good old. Did the orb weavers used to have poison at one point, like the wolf spiders? Because the junior ones sometimes leave poison. So, the, so juniors can poison just not all the time. Because I was wondering, I was like, I came across some that definitely poisoned me before. Acorn tops. 
Acorn tops and weed stems. Got it. I think I have some of the stuff already prepared. Uh, juniors are just the baby, um, baby versions of spiders. Put on our flashlight helmet. Let me take my hauling one. Now I can carry more. I get just seven. It's better than five, but not amazing. Happy New Year, Julia! Happy New Year! Wait a minute, how is it to build that if I can't hold on to these? Oh no. I'm gonna have to build one of those things just so I can access it. <laughs> Damn. Well, son of a bitch! Okay, and hey, now I need rope. Dry grass, pebbles, and sprigs. Luckily, here's some pebbles. I know, Ju I haven't seen Julia in chat since like last year. It's God. I haven't seen anyone in chat since last year. Where have you guys been? Thank you, sir, for donating your beak. I appreciate that. I need some dry grass. There should and sprigs. Got those. Need four sprigs. Just need a wee bit of dry grass. I think there's some dry grass. A little somewhere in here. A little bit further up, I believe. Freaking larva. So much larva. Dry grass close to the milk carton? Okay. Crude ropes. Okay, how many ropes can I make? Need more. A little bit more. They really need to fix the shadow getting blocked by the crossbow. I mean, the light getting blocked by the crossbow. That's like, oh, my eyes. Okay. 
Okay, rope. Now dry grass. Chat said they saw dry grass near the milk carton. Ah, oh, there is some. Mosquitoes on this. <laughs> this crossbow does do nice damage, but it is very slow at reloading. Okay, take some of that. Chat was right. I did see a blade of dry grass. Wow, just like a couple of blades, too. Not even that many of them. But just enough to build the little pallet we need to build our ladder system all the way up there. Do you know that mosquitoes are silent? The sounds are, are farts because they're just a system? Really? That is nasty. <laughs> I did not need to know that. <laughs> Ew. So I'm, what I'm hearing is I'm just fart. You made it up. Oh, great. Great. Julia making up lies over here. Make me believe him. I'm like, Julia wouldn't lie. Clearly that's an obvious fact. I know, I got you baited. First you bait of the year. One of many. Nice and clean. Let's put our hog stopper on so we eat a little bit. All right, so now we should be able to finish this ladder. <gasps> There's a lab back here. That needs to be exploded. Ooh. No, no, no. Okay. Woo. God, I almost blew myself up. There's a lab in the stonework and a bunch of dead bugs. That's not good. What the emergency? What happened in here? Bunch of upgrade materials? Pinch whacker. Pinch whacker. A pinchy, grabby arm from a fallen robot. Um, repurposed as a lethal weapon can no longer pinch, only whack. A, a tier three weapon that says short circuit. A pinch whacker. Rotten berry charm. What? A piece of grotesque berry that seems to bring out the innate power of rotten weapons. <gasps> Ooh. So that means 
it unlocks the full power of rotten weapons. Ooh, secret loot. So just a baby lab, uh, lab with a new weapon. So this, this lab over here is super hidden. So if you want to find it, look for the milk carton, and then up in the uh, wall, you will find... Oh, ow, ow. Up in the wall, you'll see a crack. You just got to build a ladder up there, and then you can get to it. Uh, this isn't a rare drop. This is just a secret drop that's always there, it looks like. I forgot Dead Space Remake comes out this month. That should be fun. How big is this garden? Massive. We haven't gotten to the upper part of it yet. Uh, Callisto Protocol was a very pretty game, but it just wasn't, I don't know, just felt kind of, once you played for a few hours, you're like, okay, I'm kind of, I feel like I've seen everything. I feel like there's not much exciting stuff to look forward to. I kind of like, I got the gist of all the enemies and the basic gameplay loop, and it's, it doesn't really like improve upon itself. Even after hours and hours, it, was, it wasn't much exploring either. It just felt like it was just one giant walk forward with very little side stuff. It definitely didn't feel great. I feel like it could be good. They just need to like go back and improve a lot of little things here and there. Weakness to stabbing. <laughs> All right, so we need blueberries. So let us find some blueberries. There's one right there. Oh, I'm still standing on the blueberry, even though I just chopped it down. Push it to the edge. Got some blueberries, and you don't need a whole lot more. I know there's some up there in the darkness. In the creepy darkness, I might add. In the terrifying blackness. It's definitely buried there. Boom. And, oh, there's another one. Wait, that fell on the bird bath. I bet you can get on the bird bath. 
There must be stuff up on the bird bath itself. There must be. It looks like there's branches that go right over there too, so there must be a way to get to it. Probably along the path to the lab of the uh, the hedge lab. And I bet you there's secrets up there too. Okay, more blueberries and even more. Oh, dandelion tuft. I'll take that for later. Okay, where are the blueberries? There must be more. Okay, it's very dark out here though. Now, where is that in relation? It's, uh, Hedge Lab is here. No. Flying disc is up there, so somewhere near the flying disc is a... Would you say it's more of a sandbox game? Yes, because there's this big sandbox right here. Okay, we're gonna find a way up it. Ooh, crow feather. I'm gonna find a way up. There's gotta be one up to that, uh, the top of the bird bath. We're gonna find a way over there. Even if I have to sacrifice chat to do it. No water filtration tablets needed. Wait, what? Nothing? Nothing? I didn't say anything. Just, you know, making a making a silly. God, it's darker than chat's humor up here. Ah, the paper clip. Um I will get you later. Skin, no quests. Gotta hold out for the mutation slot. Just can't see the dark. Maybe this way? Scary. Um, when you can see ahead of yourself with this place, it's much easier, but when it's very dark like this, I can't tell where I'm supposed to be going. Possibly this way? Yeah, I think this might be it. 
Okay. Okay, try this way. Wave if this isn't a rerun? No. Um, zip line over there. Okay. Bird bass to the left. So we gotta find a way over there. Okay, down. This way. Okay, chop. Nope. She gone. Ugh, I'm trapped! Last time I watched the whole stream chatting away, I didn't realize there was a rerun till the end. You mean during horror month when we play re when reruns are part of the 24/7 marathon? And it says on the screen that it's not live. During that time? Oh. <laughs> okay, two things about reruns. Only in October, and it says on the screen it's not live. So that sounds like user error. <laughs> uh, bird bath somewhere over that way I see another zip line down there could go that way <laughs> I was so locked in the game you're playing in the school school I just probably passed in playing a uh, horror game in the past and it's only during October so if it's not October, it's not a recording. 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 Oh, welcome back, everybody. Tomorrow's New Year's Day. I'm excited. Hi, everybody. Welcome to the stream. Don't forget to like, follow, and subscribe. Hmm. So we want to get to the bird bath, which is over there. But how do eyes do that? Stuck in a web. There's got to be a path that leads over to the bird bath. Now that's the ground. There's a zip line that goes over there. Hmm. I just have to go back. I see another zip line that I don't think I've gone through yet. It must be the answer. It's that one right there, but it, oh, it's missing a. It doesn't have a string on it. So I have to find the base or I have to build the base. Well, I see an anchor, so that means means there either is an anchor somewhere else or I have to build one. All right, so if I can I Am I able to build here? So, so it looks like I just need a bee stinger, a silk rope, and clay. But I'll have to go all the way back for that. Or...
No! Oh, God, no! Are those just endpoints? Oh, no. Well, fine. I think that's the way, though, to get over there. I just have to somehow get over there. Well, there might be uh, there might be another way. I just that's just what I've seen so far. There could be another way, easier way up there or over there. The way could be further up, probably now. Blue barrels. Well, if I go back it, if I can get a bee stinger and two clay and a silk rope. Well, a silk rope's going to be hard to get, but the other one. So I can just, um, you can't build a rope from the end point? Well, that sucks. Yeah, I need silk rope though. So I have to go get some silk rope. Unless there's another path that doesn't involve that swinging thing that I'm just not seeing someplace. Forgot about that molar. Hmm. No, we were, um, we haven't gone to the upper yard yet, but now we can. We've unlocked the ability to go there. All these billy hogs. Inventory full. Well, that's rude. Just got a glide and leaf hop there. Yeah, we'll just grab the, the zip line. It's fine. My inventory's full anyways. Really? This is why no one likes you, Bombardier Beetle. You people just walk along trying to mind their own business and you just start shooting bombs at them. Let's switch uh, helmets. Safe. To my sombrero. Safe fur. Pets let you carry more. Wait a minute. I should make. I should get a pet then. <sighs> Are aphids the only thing that can be pets <sighs> in this? Or are there any other creatures that you can make it turn to a pet? Oh, weevils can be as well. Oh, and gnats. Ooh, gnats and weevils. Which one's your favorite pet? You had a pet weevil named Stevel. Different pets give you different perks, really. Oh, they die easily, so like... <sighs> One stink bug bomb and poof. <sighs> Weevil Knievel. Oh my god. Oh, right 
then. So, we're gonna want... Oh, leather, so I make my sword. Let's make more leather. All right, get that going. We can finally make our black ant sword, which apparently is a good one. All right, let's see. Let's upgrade our black ant sword. Never mind. Okay, we got plenty. It's about another year, hopefully. <laughs> hopefully we're not all in simulation and we died many years ago. And we all just think that we're alive. Let's max out the ant sword. So, pokey weapon, life steal. So, my spear just does a little bit more and has crit chance. Another accessory. Put uh, that one away. Let's eat the food. Yum. Put the berry leather away. Welcome back, dude. You haven't streamed since last year. I know. It was like last year since we streamed, man. Like crazy. I can't believe it's been all the way since last year. Absolutely crazy. Well, honestly, this stream is the best stream of the year. It's been great so far. Nice and clean. Silk. We'll leave one guy there. Um, we needed a. We need clay, bee stinger, and silk rope. So let's take a couple of those. A couple of clay. A bee stinger. And the silk rope, which we're doing right now. That should be enough, hopefully. 
All right, let's go back. No. I do want to try out this weapon. Oh. That one seems pretty good so far. This this uh, black ant sword seems nice. Seems like a pretty good weapon. Hits fast and hard. Let's go in there, and we're going to find our way over to the top of the thing. What is that? It might be a piece of hedge lab. Looks like it's a little bit of it. Did I make the gray sword? Not yet. We gotta go back over there and grab it. Just wanted to get some pieces over here. But then I realized we haven't been on the top of that bird bath, so we're gonna go get on the bird bath and see what's over there. Yeah, there's definitely a branch that goes all the way over there. I'm curious what we'll find there. Haven't seen me since last year. <laughs> we have not heard that joke today. No, it's the first time. Good job. That's the first time I've heard that joke all day. That you haven't seen it since last year. I haven't done blank since last year. Oh my God, it's the great. It's it's so good. It's a joke I've been hearing all year so far. All right, here we go, going up. Over here, and then up. Oh, you guys drop web fiber, so I should, should kill all of you. Thank you. Drink of the water, or soda. Probably juice, actually. This is water really terrifying! Alright, let's find our way over there, and we're going to get to the bird bath. Bath and Beyond. Hmm. 
Hope I bought a dandelion tuft. That would be nice, wouldn't it? Wouldn't that be nice? Looks like I can't build it there. I have to build it somewhere else. Why can't I attach it here? That's so mean. <sighs> Fine. I think I see another way. A dangerous way, but another way. Aha! <laughs> nope. Well, I did make it though. Just had to use a little parkour. Thank you, Mr. Mosquito. You nasty piece of... <gasps> There's a mega molar here. And a mosquito. Yeah, die, you piece of garbage. No one likes mosquitoes, period. Ah, mega milk molar. Anything in the bottom of the pond? Something sparkly there, what is that? Oh, marble shard, perfect. Upgrade pieces. I hear signs as well. What is up here? Also, I'll, I'll heal as well. Because those guys hurt me a lot. Ooh, a scab's up here. Hedgeberry scab. I think it means that you're holding raw science in your hand. That's pretty much it. That's what, that's what it means. Yeah, mega milk molar. Uh, what happened to the person who stole a calendar on New Year's Eve? They got 12 months. <sighs> Thanks for the tip. Joke. Appreciate that. 
Thank you. It's not even Monday. Go over here. They stole the calendar that had twelve months on it, so they got twelve months. Okay, you get it? <laughs> oh my god. What's well, been the highlight of everyone's day? Um, seeing chat's beautiful smiles. What is... There must be more secrets over here. There's just so much place to go over here. Maybe not. There's, an invisible, there's a fake wall there. Edges. Um, oh, crow feather. Beautiful. We'll go down after using all these, and we'll stock up on blueberries. Uh-oh. You get under there. I didn't bring a dandelion stuff, so I can't drop down there. I'm gonna have to go back the other way, because that's far. There's two more secrets up here? Really? Is it up on the branches or in the fountain itself? Oh, spider cave. We'll go to the spider cave later. I, like, there's apparently a giant boss in there you can summon. Okay, well, that's a lot of, that's a lot of blueberries down there. I'll we'll have to go down, find a way down and kill them all. Drop down off these guys. This should be fine. Drop, 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 drop. How do you farm crow feathers? The be easiest way is to do hedge lab. Get that lab finished. And then you can unlock the scanner. And you can just set the scanner at each of the field researches to scan for crow feathers. And then they will find them for you. If there's none on the map, then you just um, just keep checking each day. The bird will keep flying up, dropping out feathers. You'll get tons that way. I if, I could keep that aphid as a pet. if you ever see a crow land, he's going to drop a feather, so go run after him.
Cardio fan. Ooh. Let's see. Cardio fan. Sauce your tiny body over and over again. Your cells out the more efficient respiratory process. Hmm. Very nice. Tier 3 mutation. Okay, a lot of the berries probably fell over this way. What's your favorite RTS game of 2022? Were there any? That's kind of a genre that's dying. There aren't a lot of them left. Like, I can't remember any of them. I didn't play the Dune one. Ooh, more feathers. Yeah, it's a genre that there's very few games made of anymore. Turn-based strategy is coming back, though. All right, well, we've got lots of um, things. Let's go back to our base now, and we stocked up on some blueberries. Well, yeah, there's, there's, we have never had more indie games coming out of the time than we do right now. Like, there are so many indie games releasing all the time. There's so many that I will never see half of them because there's just dozens and dozens and dozens. So, unless it breaks through the noise, um, I probably want to played many of them or heard of them even. Hmm. Rash. I did not really explore Rash too much. Aphids. Nature's lollipops. Speaking of city builders, why haven't we got a City Skylines 2 yet? <laughs> We have gotten so many DLCs for uh, that game. And no sequel yet. A can. La Beast can. This gives me a can do attitude. These kids are a bunch of litterers. Like, there is so much garbage in this place. Mosquito beak, blood sack. Toadstool. Hi there, buddy. Anything anything cool in this little island in the middle of this pond? Now they're strong enough we can come find any secrets over here. Hopefully a milk molar, maybe. Ooh, upgrade stone, I think. I started this game yesterday. Definitely a great survival game. I uh, decided to play more. It's a game that like you just keep going deeper into it. There's more and more secrets to find and more cool things to unlock and discover. Very fun game. Uh. 
there's a action figure. Nothing going on with him. He's called a uh, rash. The name of the action figure looks like a battle toad. <laughs> All right, well, let's get out of here. That's right, this was a spot that a wolf spider was hanging out. He's probably right here somewhere, just chilling. Sorry, Lorba. Go away, buddy. No one cares about you. Go away. Give me that, those webs, please. Ooh. I see a wolf spider chilling over there. Oh, yeah, he, he's over there just waiting, and he's going to be mad his raw science has been stolen by some thief in the night. Gotcha, sir. Thank you. Goodbye. This is why my backyard looks like I'm I'm nuking it tonight. There are a lot of things in your backyard, in your front yard, that you just can't see. They're so small. Or hiding under rocks or under the blades of grass. And if you were really tiny, you would see them all. Home sweet home. More leather. Okay. Now what? Mint mace requires tough gunk, which I don't know what that is. We gotta get three more pincers over at the other place. Don't even need to boil it. So let's drink. Put on our hog stopper to get food. And rest until morning. Yeah, there's so many other horrifying bugs that they didn't put in the game that they could in a sequel or an expansion pack or up or DLC or something. I feel a little less squishy now. So there's lots of options, lots of horrifying things that they could still add in the future games. Lots, <laughs> lots of really nasty stuff.
like Daddy Long Legs. <laughs> Imagine the just gargantuanly large um, legs. Centipedes, cockroaches. Be all, all kinds of, there's so many different breeds of beetle they could add as well. Locusts, cicadas, crickets, grasshoppers, butterflies, caterpillars, crabs. <laughs> Pair glue. Pair weapon. Uh, can repair and what that been upgraded past a certain point? Oh. Silk rope? Um, do I need silk rope or something? I don't think so. Not either place. Okay, we'll need some acorns. We need some, build some ladders. Um, I guess I could take my red ant armor to help gather, but then that takes up inventory slots and then I gotta drop it off later. Alright, we'll, we'll just go. Running out of daytime. Let's go! Weather events would be terrifying. For sure. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to the bathroom. We'll be right back in a second, guys.
I hope a bee attacks him. What is this betrayal? We must be on my side. We just siding with the bees now? Is that what it is? Oh my god. Rooting for the bees. I thought we were friends. Apparently not. <sighs> it figures. Can't trust anyone nowadays. <laughs> yes, I thought chat would behave, not betray. True Viking Kitchen Patrol, thank for those resubs. Appreciate that. Dude, I started playing this and love it. Me too. It's a really fun game. We're pretty deep into the game now. We beat the first four labs, and now we got to go to the final lab up there. And get big again. Ow! You piece of... Call it. Oop. Right in the eyeball. All right, anyone else want to sacrifice themselves? I'm right here. Thank you. Let me grab your pollen here. Bees are aware of your presence. No. No, they're not. I refuse to believe that. We can't kill bees. We need to... They're attacking me! I would leave them alone, but they're trying to get up in my business and kill me. Yeah, in my business. All right, gotta go to the sandbox. Far more of those dudes. Make make our giant um, weapon. Which apparently, would be a very good weapon. And then come back. Jump! 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 Take out little apple bits. Mm -hmm -hmm -hmm. Let's go ahead and uh, trash the rotten ones. Actions, trash the stack. Yes. Don't need a stack of rotten food anymore. Burb. Wait, there was something very sparkly right there. What is that? Ha cha cha! It's burning! Oh god! Oh, 
Beautiful. Something very sparkly right here. What is this? Right there. Buried treasure! <gasps> what? That looks like candy. Very treasure. Yeah, they got for the shade. Oh, you. Okay. Well, luckily, I got the weapon that will kill you this time, sir. Thank you. Oh god, another one. I know, there's so many bugs. I thought this game was made by Bethesda for a minute. Got them again. Just kicking their little butts. I like that. This is the full layer one, right? Yeah. More spicy candy? I'll take it. I forgot to bring more um, bandages with me. Yay. <laughs> All right. I need to find sap and fiber. I think I could find both around here somewhere. There's another treasure on the right. Oh, I think the sun has to be shining for me to be able to see it. I can't. I don't know where it is anymore. You know what this place reminds me of? A litter box. All 
Uh, hmm. I can't do two at once. I had a backup. I can do one at a time, but not two. Two is too risky. Oh, there's some sap. Now with the sap, I can make bandages. If I just find some plant fiber, which should be over here. Plant fiber, please. Sir, thank you. Plant fiber, please. Need some plant fiber, and then we got bandages. All right, craft some bandages. Beautiful. We did it, Chet. Uh, Fortune Gaming and Deck Nana, thank you for the uh, resubs. Appreciate that. This, this black ant axe is very good at killing these guys. Got another pincer, that's good. What's in here? Is this the black ant thing again? No, that's over there. Actually, what is it here? I can't see, so let's grab um, light. Oh, is this the salt caverns again? Yeah, that thing hasn't respawned yet. Bunch of salt again. And upgrade stones. One of these dunes must have a secret in it. Oh, we can go in here now. What is this place? It kind of looks like a popsicle. I get the feeling it's not refreshing, though. Sandbox burgle chip. Candy conundrum recipe. I cannot bear to look upon myself any longer. I've become a monster. Human less than the insects that are my only companions now. I have become old, well before my years. A shrunken husk of a man, a walking corpse like Lurkin Shriek, doomed to the executioner's axe. Trudy was right all along, as she always is. And what remains? I'm a failure as a scientist, as a husband, and as a father. I have no choice but to remain here, living exiled in the backyard. I have diverted my remaining strength and will into finding a cure for this malady. This raisinification, if you will. It is my only hope now. All other research initiatives must be placed on hold. 
or it will be too late. It may already be too late. It is only fitting that I am so small, tiny, minuscule, just like my legacy. Aww. I'm sorry. So it looks like the shovel, when the sun shines, will mark a circle, and then in that circle will be the key to a chest that's in the sandcastle. Compliance badge on. Feeling a little safer. Can't do two at once. Oh, go away. Damn you, sir. Going anywhere near him means that that thing over there is going to keep spawning at me. How many ant bodies did he have down there? You. He had a very large, impressive collection of of ants. Thank you. What is in this cavern? Another layer? Oh, God. Seven. Okay. Happy New Year, uh, Rosemary. Happy New Year to everyone in chat. Net zero zero. Thank you for the twenty-one month reset. Appreciate that. Another upgrade marble.
I got three pincers that may be enough to make the axe now. Hopefully. I need a tier three hammer to get these upgrade pieces here. Henry Swanson account, thank you, accountant, thank you for the 47 month resub. Oh, so there's th two entrances to this place. But we've got to find our way into the sand castle. Filtration tablets needed. What was the scary noise? Can I go in here? Nope. It's weird seeing sand be so big. Big, massive chunks. Three. Um, max arrow size. Max resource size. Let's go resources. Time. Yes, let's carry more. You hate the sound the antlion makes. Yes. It is a very unpleasant sound, for sure. All right, can I make... I don't think so. Oh, hi, wolf spider. How are you? Just chilling? <laughs> I'm not sure if holding my hands to my face makes me see any better than with my glasses. Weak to slashing and spicy. So it's weak to my axe. I hate the sound of the makes always makes me jump. Yeah, they they and um wolf spiders have a really sudden burst sound when they aggro like Screeching. All right, here another ant lion. Or two of them, never mind. That's two too many. Spiders aren't real, they can't hurt you. Really? Are they like Freddy Krueger? They're just a dream? Workers comp. I need to carry some of these guys with me. Huh. 
Yeah, respawn at Spider's uh, Field Station is very nice. Helps out so much. Ow. Uh, when you die, you only drop uncrafted things, so raw materials. So as long as it was crafted once, you won't lose it, which is great. So that way death isn't like quite so horrible. Oh God! Get him off spider! You guys have fun. I'm just gonna chill over here for a minute. I got the upgrade, the mutation, nice. More pincers, spider parts. You gotta stay right there for me, buddy. Just don't move. Can't tell if you have a weak spot or not. Yeah, all your dur all your equipment takes durability loss, which means you gotta spend um, equipment to repair them. He's being extremely nice to sit in there. He's realized I have I've had a rough time over here. He's like giving me a little bit of a break, you know. He's helping me out. He's being a good guy, you know. Being a great guy. Really? Are you stuck in there too? What? What's going on? So many bugs. There's bugs in my bugs. <laughs> Take that, sir, and get out of here. Thank you. I think right here would be a good spot for a ladder. What is, oh, candy. Spicy candy. <laughs> Happy New Year. Happy New Year to you, too. You, you don't have to type damn blank while saying it. It makes it sound grumpy. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Hey, Pooh. Happy New Year. Hmm. Um. That's really high up there. I don't know if I can make it. <laughs> that's, that's so far. I'm gonna have to build one of those uh, 
pallet thingies or they won't be able to build it up there. Ladders are hard to build on this one. All right, to make the pallet thingy, I will need Dry grass, pebblet, sprig, and rope. I have to have dry grass, sprig, pellet, and rope. Hmm, well. Dry grass, I don't know if there is any. There are some sprigs here, a few. There are some pebbles in here. <laughs> I don't think I need the bee fuzz. We've got plenty of that. Pebble, 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 pebble. Now it's gotta find a single piece of dry grass. Don't even need to boil it. What was that sound? Put on our hog stopper. All righty then, let's see. Go ahead and put down this thingy and then I can load it with everything, I believe, most everything. Four pieces of dry grass. Uh, what does a drying rack require? Bombardier parts. Black ant working away here. I need a piece of dry grass. It's like normal grass, but dry. Just a, just one piece. It's all needed, just one. Don't tell me that's the one piece I won't be able to find. Might have to go out and come back in just for, to get some dry grass. Woe is me. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Well, the sun's coming up, so we should be able to see some buried treasure at least sap what's oh, over here see a piece of hedge somehow Go ahead and make me some bandages. Never mind. Can't. Hey! 
Watch it! Oh god! Rude! Fast dry grass? I didn't see any dry grass. Now they probably have it hidden somewhere around here. See, fighting two at once is death sentence on when you're playing solo. For most things. It's just like you just can't, there's too much damage coming in. I know I died. I got it, I died. <laughs> Chat. Haha! <laughs> you have expired. Lol. So many of his parts. I don't need you, Antlion. What I need is a piece of drag grass. How much story is left? I'm not sure um, how much longer after going to the shed the game lasts. I know this, see right now, this is a real sandbox game. I feel a little less squishy now. Mm -hmm. The sun's gonna shine and when it shines, it's gonna mark some place that I'm supposed to dig. There, it's shining over here. No. Don't burn your feet, Pete. Maybe, oh, I see something shining over there though. Buried treasure. Is that salt? Well, that's not an exciting treasure. That's not exciting. Well, it looks like the thing keeps moving throughout the day. It might be a high noon. Shovel. Guide me as to where to dig, please. It's at some time of day the um, thing will shine on something. Let me double check. Ooh, it could be at 3.30. At 3.30 in the afternoon, it will shine on a certain spot. Possibly. Because it is going to move th throughout the whole thing as the sun moves. Let's look for sparkly bits. Because those are buried treasures. Look for sparklies. Repair 
this thing I need. Mandibles. It's 8 a.m. Still early. Oh, I saw shiny. In the footprint. Not right now, you big doofus. It's a dead person that got stepped on. It's a corpse. Um, food conversion. Trickle. Ominous practical technologies, Dr. Wendell Tolley, science department, log 88.05.29G. What is that? H. H. Protected. Final evaluation tests of the space are going on. If I have noticed some minor errors in transcription where a non trivial number of particles are not being conserved. I have no side effects, but making a note to that later. Making a note! I'm still annoyed by Dr. Fine's attitude at the barbecue when I confided in him about my success. It was arrogant, as always. My breakthrough for the covalent spacing reduction, questioning the very use of thinking technology. <laughs> What a ridiculous lack of vision. <sighs> World hunger, overpopulation, global warming, just the tip of the iceberg. Okay, nice drink. Clean. I know there's so many antlions in this place. There's a swarm of them. It is 9.30, 9.17. Okay, I see another... Where's my treasure? I saw you. More candy? Okay. I used that black ant to help me there. Which was nice of him. Um Candy. 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 All right, I need dry grass. Is there any dry grass in this sandbox? Because I need it. All right, well, let's drop that. Don't need that. Um, don't need any more pebbles. Make some more room. So 3.30 is still quite a bit of ways. Ow. Ow, you keep smacking me with it.
gonna be a pin cushion by this. Gotcha, sir. Thank you. God, it's hot. Oh, Mega Milk Muller. Okay. Come on. Watch it, sir. Ah, Mega Milk Molar. Beautiful. Just me thinking went to all these mounds. You find another one you haven't been into yet. It's great. Uh, putting on the Ritz is in public domain now? Really? Well, that's awesome. I like when things go in public domain. That means everyone gets to enjoy it and make money off of it. Not just a slight few. We need to go back, um, grab some plant fiber, and then make some bandages, because I'm kind of hurt. Oh, I'm not kind of. I'm very hurt. A lot. All right, so let's make some bandages and heals. I guess we can go through the black ant cavern to get out of here. Get where the other end is, though. Inventory, new bag, let's see. Trickle regen, food conversion. What does food conversion mean? There is buried, oh, was there a shiny? I didn't see it. Oh, there is, right there, you're right, chat. What treasure shall we find? It makes you hungry, it gives you regen. Ooh. Don't burn your feet, Pete. Spicy candy. Chop, chop, chop. Chop, 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 chop. I wonder if I drop this, the plant fiber on there, if it will just like turn into dry grass by itself. I mean, I'm doing anything. If it roasts out here. Hello, 18 wheeling. All right, we need to go try to find a way to get dry grass and come back. Could be some down here. Actually, I think the lab had some. I want to say the lab had some dry grass. A little safer now. At some point. Don't even need to boil it. Happy New Year, uh, Bonayane Dan and Chat. Well, thank you, Dr. Leroy, I think. I don't know what that means in English, but thank you. Hello there. Do you play how to get fresh water? It's real easy, you just go into, um, Just smack leaves and they'll fall on the ground. If you look up at leaves, they'll have fresh water.
just smack the base of a um, a blade of grass and it'll fall down. You can drink it, and then but also put it into um, you can also put it into uh, a canteen when you get the recipe for that. Let's drop the. Better than starving. Might be the spicy one I need to eat enough of. Fresh defense. Oh, there we go. Go ahead and repair oh. that. Now, I, uh, I believe that this place has a strand of dry grass in it. Right before the boss room, I believe there was a bunch of grass. Pretty sure. I'm like 8% sure. Not here, different place. I mean, 8% is better than 0%. been through here through the drop down <gasps> dry grass and a bunch of ropes I have found the dry grass I needed. Guess I'll take that for some reason. <laughs> this game is huge. It is. It is a very beefy game. Huge game. There's so many nooks and crannies of the yard to find and uncover his secrets and stuff. I'll put the gobstopper on now, and this will um, fill up my um, health meter, my uh, food meter. All right, let's go back to the surface, and then we will be able to build our little pallet thing. Fill it with weeds and then go up and get on top of the castle. Uh, minus 12. Uh, it's almost 332. All right, get to the top quickly. Quickly, quickly, quickly. Is the game big or are we small? Yes. Uh, this area is too hot for me. All right, let's see. Where is the shovel shining? Right there. Something's there, something big. It's the key. Melted moat key. We found it. That should keep me safe. <laughs> safe fur. That means now we get the treasure too. We get to have everything.
Is the uh, Final Fantasy game that just came out, the Crisis Core thing, is it fun? Is it as good as the remake? Not as good, though? No? Yeah, I didn't see people playing it for too long. It seemed like people got it done and over with real fast. That's Kevin. What? <laughs> Honestly, not that off. <laughs> What's up? Um, yeah. Okay. Well, actually, I'm still full from massive armor. Mm -hmm. Right now. I'll do something later. It's not super hungry yet. Omelet and pancakes for my house. I swear, IHOP has the best pancakes and um, omelets for you know that level of food. I love them. Yeah, they mix pancake mix into their eggs to give it that unique flavor. And it tastes very good, so I'm fine with that. You work there at IHOP? Awesome. Uh, we were there the other day, and someone kept calling on the phone and cussing out the uh, the employees there, and they had to like take the phone off the hook or something. I don't. Apparently, a lot of drama happening. Why would you? Why would you eat hop to eat a pancake and omelet? Well, at IHOP, they the National House of Pancakes, they have um omelets and they come with a side you can choose if you want pancakes toast or a biscuit and I'll always go for the pancake Why is it International House Pancakes? I don't know. Apparently, that's only the United States. <laughs> Do you guys have uh, IHOPs where you are? Um, where's my ladder? Uh, they're kind of like Perkins, but I think Perkins is better at some things, but worse than others. up here all right drink the water, water filtration <laughs> tablets needed what well, those Perkins it's fine food clover I don't think I have any clovers okay 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 go down Whew. okay scary 
I need to find me a clover. And... What was the other thing that was required for this sign? Like plant fiber. Is that how ladders work? I know, it's uh, they, they did their best. Do fiber, okay. I think there's clover over here, maybe one or two. Let's hope. If there's no clover, then I can't make it, then I gotta complete the quest another time, and it's like, no, I want it now. Okay, you're gonna leave me alone, sir. Drop that, drop the two pollens, because don't need that. Um, and then take my sprigs. Find me a clover leaf, please. Oh, apparently there's some here. Oh, there are a few here, perfect. All right, we got enough. Ow. Ow, ow. Ow again. All right, uh, my, less squishy now. my mosquito mask is almost dead. I'll have to go back and repair that. I don't have any parts out here. Thank you, Andaru. Yeah, holidays can be very either extremely happy for people or extremely depressing. And sometimes only a little distraction to prevent it from becoming one or the other. Yeah, especially if you get a job at a recycling factory where you have to crush cans all day. That's so depressing. Quest done. Ah, oh, missed! Ow! Tis fine. Let me put on the uh, heel badge. Yeah, that was the worst joke of this year, I think. Oh, and the chest, which is, I think, in the water. So I think it's behind uh, the place in the water. Then we can see what's back there. Nope. Big old chest down here someplace. He's got to find the damn thing. The sandbox moat. I remember seeing it. Some pirate treasure thing right here someplace. There she is. Mm. 
Ooh, molar. Waterlogged recipe. Uh, detailing how to make a particularly deadly weapon. Salt Morning Star. Ooh. That sounds like a deadly weapon. This is probably not a good idea. No. But it's all you had. You had to, you had to do it. Salt Morning Star sounds like a cool one. What does it require? Salt Morning Star. Uh, tough gunk again, gum nugget, and salt globs. So, it simultaneously inflicts wounds and then rubs salt in them in one swing. That sounds like a evil weapon. Torturous, even. It's like, what? Sounds like a lot like Twitch chat. No, Twitch chat would never be rude and mean to people. Right? Right? As that cow that bounces on my head. Chat would never. Okay, we gotta eat. Yeah, Twitch chat's full of saints. More like Saints Row, but yeah. Use that bandage and let's go back to our base over here. We got the kielbasa on, yep. That's the leaning shovel, and it's a little bit past that. I need to mark my other house. There is, okay, there it is. I found my, found my tower. Altitude. There's a lot of bees outside of this tower. Not a fan of that. Okay, going home. Whee! Yay! Is there an ending to this game? Yes. There's a story of an actual ending ending. Can't harm me from up here, Mr. Stinkbug. I'm safe from your shenanigans. Where do you uh, reckon the expansion will be set? Have they confirmed an expansion for this?
Oh, is that a gas station across the street? Ooh. Notice that in the distance there. Yeah, I don't think there will be an expansion for this. I think they kind of, they're, they'll just keep improving upon it, but they're kind of done with like, may add a, you know new bugs, maybe a little area or two, but I don't think they're going to be a full-blown expansion. Nice and clean. That's just my hunch. Would be nice, but I don't think Feeling it. a little safer now. I just don't think it needs one. I think it's kind of like, you, you tell, you told your story, now you're, you're good. You don't really have to expand upon it too much. All right, Ant Antlion Greatsword. Boom. Now apparently this is a very good weapon. Antlion Greatsword. She's gonna hit hard. You know a game is great when you haven't finished yet, but you're already hyped for a potential expansion. Very true. I do love games where it's like, I want more, even if it's not finished yet. I'm like, I just want more. I need more. I'm not done yet. I want more. But you haven't even finished the game yet. I know. I want. I don't want the game to end. I want to keep going. I want to keep going and going and going. There's lots of little stuff they could keep adding to this to get to the base game just to make it more interesting, like new bugs, new events, rare spawns, little secret areas, little caves, like little tunnels. There's like lots of stuff they could do in the current existing environment just to add a little more. I think that would work best. I sleep. I think one thing that'd be really cool in this game is mounts. Like a ladybug mount, an ant mount, maybe like end game a bee mount or, you know. I think that'd be fun. Another way to travel around. Okay, drink, drink. Uh, we need some food, so let's grab some food. Let's do... Okay, put all our stuff away. Mint mace. I gotta find tough gunk. I don't know what that is yet. I have to find it from somewhere. Um, let's make some more arrows. I kind of lost a few, I think. Yeah, we actually lost quite a lot of them. Okay, back up 54. I gotta go slaughter more uh, of these guys. Getting out of low on silk. We haven't gone to the upper yard yet. That's our next destination. We gotta somehow go up there and figure out what that's all about. We've done, um, I think, most of the stuff around here. There's probably some secrets in the garbage I haven't found yet. and the, Every place over here probably has secrets I haven't found yet. <laughs> it makes very good. Well, just, I just made the um, Antlion Greatsword, our first Tier 3 weapon. Um... What enchant should I put on the antlion? Should I just keep it as it is and do mighty, or should I add an element onto it? I'm not sure. Let's go ahead and put this away. That replaces that one. Tough. Most of the upper yard is optional. Oh, I see. Scary stuff up there, probably. Candy. 
Dual wooding? There's no dual wooding in the game, unfortunately. That would be fun. Consumables. Put those in there. Yeah, we opened the moat chest and got a recipe for... Oh, yeah, for a... Um, something called the Salt Morning Star. All right, so... I think for this weapon, um, the ant antlion greatsword, we should just go mighty and increase its raw damage, probably. So antlion greatsword, uh, mighty. Uh, what should I put on the, uh, Antlion Greatsword? Should I go spicy, maybe? Or mighty? What do you guys like putting on your, uh, Antlion Greatsword? So it's either raw damage or elemental damage. I just do mighty. This seems like a good raw damage weapon. All right, we'll try Mighty Globs. So I need, um... I need an oven. And the oven requires what? Everchar Coal Chunk. I don't know what that is. I guess we'll find out. <laughs> Let's put um, this in the bug parts one. Webs and silk. All right. Let's go ahead and make some fiber bandages. My boyfriend got me this game for Christmas. He said it's similar to Minecraft. I'm excited. It's kind of, it's, you know, like a sandbox game where you play what you want, but unlike Minecraft, this has much more of a story and a, and like actual crafted places to discover, whereas Minecraft is sort of randomly generated every time with some handcraft stuff, but not much. This one's more of a guided experience, if you like that, with an actual, with good story, voice acting and stuff. So if you like Minecraft, I think you'll like this. It's just a fantastic, wonderful game. All right, so let's put away our consumable. Let's uh, repair our glowy thing. Let's repair. Eh, yeah, we'll repair that. Okay, so we need to get. No water Boiling glands, which I think means the dudes over here. And also Ember Charge, I think, is the spilt grill we saw. Yeah, this game is great to play with either by yourself or with friends. So, whichever you like. Uh, this is the Antlion Greatsword. We farmed a bunch of antlions in the sandbox in order to make this sword. It's our first tier 3 weapon. I'm going to try to try it out. Alright, let's go for boiling stuff. Um, let's head down here.
Let's put on the gas mask, cause stink bugs. Hi there. Oh my god, the damage on this thing. Damn. This weapon chunks. Stink bugs, I don't think, are even weak to slashing, and it just hits so hard. We need boiling glands. Find me boiling glands. So it looks like, um... The squirts carton. <laughs> That's such a funny name for that. Let's go. There's some boi boiling glands next to the squirts carton. This direction. Why is it showing it's 200 meters down? Yeah, oh, I forgot. We did We did find a secret lab. Um, uh oh. Oh my god, the damage! Holy, that... That obliterated that mosquito. God! <laughs> That did 70% of his health with that overhead swing. Damn. Oh, there they are. Oh, God. Ow, ow, God. Oh god, oh, I'm very low on health, very low on health. <laughs> no! <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> yeah, we have the alien armor on. Well, I should put it back on. I didn't bring any healing stuff with me. <laughs> Other than trickle healing. All right, drop a boiling gland, please. Yes, that's one. We need one more to build our oven. I wonder if we turn on Barbarian. If that gives us some nice healing as well. How? Let's see how fast the healing is on the regen and Barbarian. Seems pretty low. All right, well, we got one boiling gland. We need another. So let's go for this one chilling over here. This is a bladed weapon too, isn't it? So let's um, do blade master as well. Oh, yeah, it had to be enraged. I forgot. It just had to be swinging at something, I think. Yeah, we have um, this weapon, too. We found the Pinch Whacker. I don't know what it's good against. Ah! Poison!
Pinch is your main weapon. Is it good? So it causes like an electric burst. Acid gland, damn. The region on Barbarian seems very, very small. It's like not even worth it. It just seems perfect, and you lose perfect block. I think perfect block is just too important. All right, more boiling bugs. Looks like there's one way over there. Looks like there's three over here, so let's go to those. We need just one boiling gland in order to, um, to get, uh, what you call it, uh, our oven made, so we can start making tier three uh, upgrade items. Can you profit bearing with a sword? Um, it doesn't say anything about it. It just says biggest sweat. Oh, clubs. It does say club. Never mind. So technically it's 2 and 11, but it's a sword, not a club. That's why it's not working. Thank you, chat. We figured it out together. Okay, start healing. to pull you guys apart. I can't be fighting you all three at once. Watch it, sir. Oops. Thank you. That works, too. Mites are no match for the mites of small feet. Yeah, the crossbow is very, very strong weapon. Just slow. Still no boiler gland. All right, fine. What's that man? Of uh, just playing some grounded, having fun. What the, sir? What? Are you in the rock? I can't get you in there. Get out of there. Someone back ban this bug. Wow, he can fire through there, but I can't fire into him. Ultimate hacks. It's like playing Call of Duty right now. All these cheaters, man. <laughs> well, I can't, can't kill that one. He's just stuck inside the rock. I know, I, you play single player, get away from the damn hackers, and they're still here. I can probably unstuck them if we save, quit, and then reload. It'll force them to spawn in a proper place, I think. 
Hopefully. Hopefully it'll pull him out of the rock. We'll see. No promises, but we'll hopefully it'll work. You guys are annoying. Alright, you're not in the rock right anymore, right, sir? Son of a bitch. Okay, apparently he still is. Fine, I'll find another. There's one chilling over here. I mean, I can't argue with his results. He's gonna live. Unfortunately, but he will live. He lives there now. I mean, he knows that I can't ever kill him if he's inside the rock. I don't think I've been to this paint can yet. Huh. Paint. A big old thing of paint. Oh, sorry, Mr. Ant. I wasn't aiming at you. Missed that one. Ah. Thank you. Stop it! How many there are you? God. This is so many. Did I get a boiling thing? I did, yay! So many mites. Okay, well, we got our boiling land. Now we can stop killing these guys. For now. Now we can start making tier 2 upgrade items. I heard this game's good um, co op, but I've heard anything about single player. Single player is fun, it's just um, you have to grind everything yourself. You can't, like, split it up amongst your friends. So, as long as you don't mind grinding just and doing all the jobs, it's fine. You can, I've been able to beat all the bosses and beat everything so far, so it's been fine for me. Drink. Sprig City, I know there's so many. Alright, going back home. Oh, thank you, Barley. Welcome back. Yeah, they designed the game around co op, so if you have friends, that's like the best way to play, I think. But I'm still having lots of fun solo. Because, like, all the armor and weapon stuff kind of. Kind of is like classes, like the minute what you wear and use can like give you and perks you have can kind of make you more of a healer or support. Some can make you more of a damage dealer. Some more of a tank. So you can like split up the jobs and stuff and try to you know 
figure out like who's going to do what role, who wants to be the crafter or the hauler. And someone could just build the base, someone could just farm food and make food for everybody, that kind of stuff. All right, drop everything off, and let's build our oven. Unless I can sleep. If I can sleep, we'll do that. No. What time can I sleep? At 20.33, so very soon. Oven. Oh, I can't build the oven. I need I need coals. I gotta find coals. I probably at the grill. I think it's four player co op for uh, the this game. Spider slider. All right, put everything away. Let's um. Go to sleep in just a couple of minutes. Any minute now to let me sleep. Come on game, let me sleep please. There we go. I believe uh, it's four players because the case has four slots for four bodies, so they ship the four kids into the yard. That's like the story of why you're all together. Feeling a little safer now. Go ahead and repair that. Um, let's drink. The water filtration tablets needed. Let's grab water for the road. Can I make in? Do I have any smoothies? Let's see. Yes. All right, we're gonna go check out um the grill area and see if we can find coals over there. Should be fun. Lots of fun. Oh, was it five slots? Okay, so a five player co op then. All right, here we go. Chat, I warn you, you're about to see a hot grill on stream. A very hot grill. Yeah, you can see it over there on the edge of the step. It fell over. All right, so we're going to have to figure out how to get up those stairs right there. Uh, it's not much of a zip line. It's more of a s slow slide line. But it does get us there safely. I know holding on to that for that long is very impressive. He's got some crazy upper body strength. I think ski lifts go faster than this, honestly. <laughs> 
We made it! Woo! <laughs> okay, now we gotta go to the hot grill. If we can find our way up there. Alright, let's see. Well, the problem with zip lines, if they hit grass, you stop moving. So you have to build it really high up before you can even start to slant it. All right, so we gotta find a way up that wall over there. Um, hmm. I see a stink bug, ignore him. Uh, put that on there for our new weapon. I can I go from this rock, maybe? I see like something over there. Maybe we can get up that way. Ooh, there's a molar down there. those upper yard ascent so that's, that's obviously the way, the way to go to be marked on the map as such oh he's just sleeping we'll, leave, we'll let him chill there all right let's see it runs at granny speed <laughs> I don't know. At least some of these uh, electric wheelchairs move real fast, and Granny can zoom, zoom, zoom. But it looks blow upable. All right, so we need a grenade. Got him. Well, that's one rock. No, 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 no. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> A scientific breakthrough. Yeah, they crap my pants there. I see a roly poly. Ah, see the hot grill, guys? It's huge. It's a big hot grill. So we need coals for our upgrade. Okay, we need to find coals because I have all these coals bucks I gotta spend before they expire tomorrow. Burnt grass. <sighs> the mighty adventurer looks over the molten wasteland. Boulders of fire block the path. Oh, I see treasure. Sets forth over ash and brimstone. What's that? Like a chest? Actual buried treasure. Deep within the trackless wastelands, a small pig found an ancient treasure that will surely aid him on his quest. Can I harvest any of these things? No. Yes. There's my charcoal. Oh, it's hot. It's hot. Oh, she's hot! She's hot! Ow! Oh my god! <laughs> Ow! I didn't realize it was a man eater. She chewed me up and spit me out. Damn. All right, so hot coals apparently are real hot. Really hot.
Wear antlion gear? I am on a full set of antlion gear. <laughs> it just got really hot really fast. Oh, we can also turn on our... We have a, a thing now, I think, called... Fresh defense, burn resist, and sizzle protection. So probably stacks with our armor. I'll turn that on, and that should help a little bit. Uh-oh. 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 Oh, I can hear him. He's charging. Ow! Right at my butt! It's amazing that this grill has been burning for weeks now as I've been playing this game. Somehow it's still burning hot. We did. Oh, we found a couple, but not anymore. Mmm, mm, food, delicious. I know that bee attacking me was unbelievable. Uh oh, there's so many over here. Oh wow, my God! What is your problem? Why are these b bees out for blood? What is their problem? Go away. Jeez. <laughs> All I did was kill like 400 of them. It's not, it doesn't make me a bad person. They, I just needed some parts for some weapons. I think they're being unreasonable. They need to behave. They need to beehive themselves. Talk about a hive mind, jeez. Okay, this is really far away. Oh, there's wolf spiders. Hanging out down there, just chilling. But there's a mega milk molar behind them, so I want that. be crawling around in here. Ladybird larva. So lot, looks like tougher versions of all enemies are going to be up here. That's real scary. Burn your feet, Pete. All right. Um. Let me grab my stuff back. I thought I lost you. These coals are so hot.
Okay, run. Need to cool. Need to cool. Calm down. Cooling. Cooling down. I'm chilling. I'm chilling. It's getting so hot. Think about all those games come out later this year. Starfield, Diablo. Oh, God. Ah, oh, so many hot games. Charcoal Hot Springs. Slurp nasty water. No, thank you. Nice and clean. I'll slurp, slurp my canteen water. Thank you very much. Nope. Okay. Need a cool. Need a cool. Calm down. <laughs> Chilling. Chilling. Oh, God. No. Oh, they dropped Tough Gunk. Ooh. Okay. Um, let's do a little bit more of a heal. All right. I'm guessing charcoal's used for probably fire upgrades. I see a milk molar up there, past those hot coals. Let me go grab it. Come on, boom, boom. Gotcha. Okay, get out of there. Oh, it's hot. It is hot out here. What is that? That is a black ox beetle. Oh, God. That's something new. Weakness to bust salty busting. <laughs> They know what they were doing, okay, with that. They knew what they were doing. Sidian's not dumb. All right, gotta get out of there. It's hot, hot, hot. Woo. Oh, thank you. Okay. Oh, oh, thank you. Oh god, oh god, quickly. Oh, oh, oh. Whew, okay, get out of there. Woo, she's hot. Okay, got the coals. We're out. Get out of there. What is the? Oh, that's the bag of charcoal, I think.
having trouble reaching me, which is perfect. Because he's pissed. Come on now. Yeah. Okay. okay, nope. Not today, mister. <laughs> Took a thousand hits, but he down. Hot cha 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 cha. What? What? Wait, what? What? Taking a look. Weak to stabbing. I'm weak to stabbing too. Seems like tough gunks of rare drop off of these things. Okay, larva spikes, classic glad. Grab all my arrows back. All right, I think I could sneak up and take the molar without having to alert him. Mega milk molar. All right, let's work our way towards the upper yard. Maybe if I make the uh, salt mace, we can get him the old salty bust. <laughs> uh, we're on normal difficulty. I find normal, normal difficulty to be the best difficulty for solo play. Whoa can be extremely tedious on solo. Doable just extremely tedious. then there's definitely it's like a big charcoal bag wait there's you can go inside of it oh there's a molar there Wait, what? Flaming sword? Two arms, two arms. Wait, what? Oh god. It's too high. I'm too high. Okay, get out. Get out. Oh god, no! How am I supposed to do that solo? Oh my god. That is awful.
There's so many. And they keep spawning. Bombs are extremely rare resource. I need to... I don't want to waste them. So it's a mixer, but I have to defend a sword. Oh god. That is gonna be very hard to do solo. You can keep doing it, it's just but Okay, get out get out of there. Okay, get out of there. get on top of the bag up there. Yeah, we'll have to, like, be able to kill them much faster in order to do that. So, they're just crazy. With better gear, we'll be able to do it. Just we can't do it yet. We just don't kill them fast enough. Science! I got the science! But it seems like there's some sort of flame sword there, so maybe fire upgrade or something. Hmm. Ow. It's starting to get dark. All right, let's go back over here. Uh, we're doing this whole run solo, so we won't have anyone in the group with, for us, with us. I'll just have to get a tier three, a good tier three weapon they're weak to, and then go in there and punch them all. And also, I'll need some uh, decoy meat as well. Can't that quite see, so I'll turn the Ooh, flashlight on. Safer. It's like a bicycle wheel. Okay, just an orb weaver. Um, let's see. It's a cool bicycle. I think I can get to the chair from this bicycle. I think I see the chair over there. Uh, no, we haven't found the Brotherhood of Steel yet. Why are you attacking? Hey, what? I'm not sure if holding my hands to my face makes me see any better than with my glasses. You pick a fight and then you're just running away? Really? Really? Come here! No! Black Ant Soldier, prepare for battle! Why would he do bot I'm gonna fight you! I'm kidding, just kidding. Running away. Well, there's his big chair. Locate the scab around his favorite chair. We're at the chair. Right, there's got to be clues as to where he went. <laughs> Same 
Thank you. Um. Turn the air down a little bit. All right, let's see. I see a hose. Maybe this hose goes somewhere? It sucks that it turned nighttime, so I can't see anything. See a bunch of garbage up here. We're getting near a terminal. Donut. You can chop the donut. Oh my god. Donut chunk. Okay, we're fine. <laughs> I was like, uh oh. Imagine, like, you could get one donut, shrink down, and it would be like, a massive donut. Drop of soda. I know, but you could turn one donut into. A lifetime of donuts. Oh, it looks like this goes up to the chair. Whatever this is. It's like a baseball bat, maybe? <sighs> All right, then from here, we made it onto the chair. so aggressive what happened there's so many I, I need to get to a place where I can funnel them There's so many of them, and they're so aggressive. Um. Something's in the center there. I don't think that's it, though. I see a pipe over there. Is that a radio? And a journal? Whoa, what the? What just threw stuff at me? Oh, God, no, no, no! No! 
<laughs> Where am I? All the way across the pot! <laughs> what? That's terrible! <laughs> I could not see where to go up there. It is so dark and there's a getting attacked by an army of ants. Super dead, but no way. Damn it! The poison! <laughs> no! Son of a bitch! Try not dying. Oh, not dying. Okay, thank you. Only my um, only my stuff that I picked up is gone, but not my crafted items though. Whew, that was brutal. Uh, feeling a little safer now. Not that one. Um, so that that place is really far away. And really dangerous. Those black ants are brutal. I don't know why they're so aggressive up there. Yeah, I gotta get those four pieces of koi looted, but I gotta go back to my corpse to do I mean, my bag to do that. <laughs> Alright, guys, I gotta get going today. Thank you guys for stopping by. Hope you guys enjoyed hanging out with us today. We'll do some more tomorrow. You guys have a good night. Thank you for being here and being wonderful people, and I'll see everyone tomorrow. Have a good night, everybody. Bye-bye. Thank you for stopping by. Bye, guys. Here's a little something you may not know. And Happy New Year! All video games take place in a shared multiverse called the Metabit. And it's home to a legendary hero, jumping in and out of worlds to save the day. But just who is this mysterious champion? Yep, you guessed it. Dan. And all of your favorite video game heroes, past and present, they're actually Dan. Remember that retail store clerk who had to fight off a freaky cult of the undead? That was Dan. Or when the retired colonel suited up to save the city from invading snake aliens? Also Dan. The time I died 27 times trying to cross that stupid bridge, and I nearly threw my controller through the wall. Yeah, okay, so no one's perfect. But in the end, Dan always comes out on top. Dan's dedicated his life to defeating the perils of the Metabit. And now he's helping others do the same.